All right, welcome back to part three. This is the final part to draw your gear and assemble your gear. So uh, we're just gonna go start drawing the curve. Uh, we'll just make a new sketch. Click here, click sketch. And we use the project tool to create this curve. All right, that's fine, looks about fine we go OK and we do an extrusion extrude 6 mil 6 mil should be enough actually alright okay let's move on alright now we need to draw the teeth so basically we go extrude again and click on the plane and make it flat forward and now we go project again click on these curves to create the curve so what we're doing now is drawing the teeth so we use the delete segment to remove the necessary parts so remove everything except the teeth uh, it's very important that you check that it's only it's just a loop just look zoom out there should be also curves on the outside here which is what we don't want we just want the shape to be here with a loop and if there's a line there have a look closely there as well there was a tricky line there that, that you won't see and if you fix all that up it will extrude fine into a solid we'll make that 6 mil and the next bit is drawing the cut inside as well. So go extrude again, click on the plane, and we'll go to we're gonna switch to hidden line view. Now we're gonna go project project these curves here, this one and this one. So with that there we go delete segment again and delete all the segments outside so check check around it make sure there's no orange bits anywhere zoom in that looks fine so we go ok and saying the, the sketch is incomplete and look you look close here there's a red mark we gotta delete those segments as well and that seems to work we'll switch that to shaded view and we want to remove material that one here will remove and we'll just make it straight through all right so that's like basically the teeth and groove file gear we just need to we just go to pan and switch to axis and we'll pick the axis the axis is the z axis and we'll make that 21 repeat 21 pan and click that to click this angle here to make it 360 and click OK. There you go, we have the teeth and we're gonna pan the bottom bit as well, the cut. So we'll just do the same step. Let's go to pattern, click axis, like the Z axis, make it 21 repeat and click the angle to make it 360 and we have our basic gear. You can put a fillet on that as well, but we just keep it basic and make it like that. And we'll save that. Actually, before we save, we'll make an extrude as well. Make a, a space for the shaft. And I'll make this 6 mil and click OK. And I'll click remove material and switch it the other way. Make it all the way through. All right, that's great. That's all fine. Now we're gonna move on to assembly. Okay, to assembly we need a a frame to um frame a frame for the kid to sit on. So we just quickly do that now. So make a new file, go option, and actually go file. 
prepare model properties switch this to millimeters again set and that's fine so we'll go ahead and draw that basically go to sketch click on the plane and we draw a circle 6 mil and zoom in all right 6 mil and we draw another circle 6 mil as well and we need to close this off close that off there remove this part this part this part this part and make sure to change this to 40 which is the pitch diameter so the gear connects right on all right so we have that we we'll extrude we'll make extrude of about six mil we'll keep everything the same and we're going to also extrude again and make the circle six mil Make a circle over here as well. And make sure it's 40 apart. This needs to be accurate. So 40, click OK, accept, and we'll extrude about 6, actually 10 mil, and click OK. Alright, we'll save that and we're ready to assemble. So create a new file and name it assembly and open it all right so the first thing we'll bring in we'll bring in the frame click assemble bring in the frame and switch this to default so it sits on flat on okay now we'll bring in the gear go assemble bring in the gear one and here you need to bring in close to the to the area and the point uh, the important thing here is you got to go to user define, go to pin, and select. Let me move this up. Yep. So switch to pin. Go to placement. We got to select the axis. So select the axis of the gear, which is that one, and also the axis of the frame. So that should sit on for translation. We're going to click uh, this face with the face of the frame. So it sits on and rotates, rotation axis. We'll just leave that there for now. And we'll bring in our next gear. So bring in the same gear again, and we'll leave it on this over here. So make sure you go to user define, change it to pin, and now select the axis of alignment and translation. Translation is just correspondence, course coincidence relationship, I think. So we'll we'll make it. We'll make it align with with that face, and everything seems to be fine. All right, for this yep. part, all right, the final rotation. Basically, we gotta pick some sort of constraints. Okay, what else? We'll click that. And we'll click. Mm. Okay, so just click uh, one of the planes. We'll, I'll just use this plane, but basically, we'll just. This just helps to put an angle, the initial angle. I'll just make that about 3 degrees. Maybe 4. So we'll switch, make sure you switch to front view and put in the angle for, should be 8 degrees I think. I'll just make that 3, maybe 1. 
0.5 just all right all right we'll put zero zero all right okay so um 0.5 seems to work so we just put a number so that it's connecting each to each other all right so if we zoom in it seems to be um connecting to the other gear so um we have a problem with that extruding um yeah that's just the cut i was too low i'll show you how to fix that later but i'm just going to show you assembly now which is more important how to use the gear system so basically you go to application mechanism and click on gear from here you click on spur gear this is a spur gear type so click on gear one and click on motion of axis because we set the constraint to pin we can we're allowed to pick on the pin there and we're going to put in the diameter of the pitch we know that's 40 it's in inches so we just got to fix that to mil so before we just go cancel that and go cancel out of it go file prepare file and model properties and switch that to millimeters and let's go ok and let's go and do that again so go application mechanism go gears select the pin put in the pitch circle diameter 40 click on gear 2 click the next axis and put in 40 and that's change it to spur gear and that's basically it we know the pressure angle is 20 and click ok and you go click and drag and the gear should be meshing moving animating so that's how you assemble it the key thing is change the constraints to pin and make it work so there you go that's how you assemble it how to use the gear mechanism but before we go the gear is not meshing very, very well I'll just quickly fix that and we're done all right so basically we go open the part we go get out of here let's open the gear one and we go and extrude we go we go to the cut here which is that part we go right click edit definition we we'll open that up and we we'll change that to hidden we're supposed to cut it further in so i'll go delete that this this delete that away now go project to create a copy of this curve this curve and this curve so it should be cutting deeper and we'll remove everything else make sure everything's gone click ok hopefully that works all right there you go change it to shader view and save that and go back to our assembly go back to assembly and have a look at our gears i'll switch these displays off and go to your model click on the drag components click on one of the parts and move it and there you go we have a working gear moving that's it for today guys that's the tutorial it took me some time to figure all that out i hope you find that useful so enjoy you can use this to create your own gear parts you can use laser cutting machine to draw your own key and create your own um, your own mechanism machine toys or equipment but yeah that's um that's all the yeah a lot of uh, yeah, i did a number of research took me a lot of time to <laughs> figure those things out uh, it would be great you can like my video comment and share it add, add it to your favorite the more you interact with the video the more it will support my channel and that will be great all right uh, i had enough talking for today guys um see you later everybody